Hey, what's up out there? Where my burger buddies at? We're out here. We're live. How's everyone doing? I hope you had a great day today. Let's see. What am I doing here? Get some light on here. Boom, boom, yes, boom, Maranara. So, all right, here we go. We out here. We were, oh dang, we only have. We already have twenty two people in a minute. That's pretty good, guys. Awesome. Welcome. What up, guys? It's that cuck that got stood up. Not nice. Funny how some of the biggest shit talkers are the first ones in here and subscribed, by the way. Uh, dislike squad reporting for duty. We are live. This is not pre recorded. Today, just to prove it to you, today's date is September. 10th 2001 and i've got a great feeling about tomorrow all right let's have a great time let's go cook some sauce Break your corner. yes all right too soon on that joke yeah it might be too soon what's going on tomorrow I don't know. That joke wasn't cool. I <laughs> should have made that too soon. Right, guys? All right. All right. Let's get this south made, bro. What's up? How's my burger buddies out there? Where are my slider slots? What's up, babes? How you doing? I'm coming to visit. You. Well, I tried to visit some of the one of my fans, and I thought we were going to have sex, and she didn't meet up with me. And then I picked this pimple thing in my head, and now it's bleeding. That's great. I'm gonna freaking win. What is that? What is this? What is this? Ah! Hello. My name is Jeff. God dang it. Freaking Jeff came to visit. Damn it, Jeff. Get out of here. This is pure Everclear, guys. That's all I drink. Pure Everclear. Grain spirits for the health. No, that's water, guys. That's water. That is water. Fresh cut. Mama Dukes gave me this. She kind of like, she was scared to do the fade all the way around. I told her, go around the fade, like around my head, around the head with the fade. Did she do that? I got this thing. I don't know. It's like. It just does this. It's like kind of like a mullet. I don't know. She did. She didn't think she could do the. I could have done a better job myself. I might hit that with the um, the clippers myself. I don't know. Cause look, this is supposed to. That's not how this is supposed to be. It's supposed to go all the way around in a line, and then kind of fade right here. There's where the transition goes. I can't go to the barber shop. I'm banned. And we'll just have to leave, let it go. We'll have to just let it go. I think I... Not to, God, I can't look at it. It's, it's so weird. Different lighting. I can see it better than others in some way. All right, so whatever. I've got a scuffed haircut. What else is new? Scuffed life. A scuffed haircut to add to my scuffed life. All right. Hey, what we got going on here? It's a welcome to the burger plan. We're going to make some sauce tonight. It's going to be so delicious. You're going to want to eat it, but you're not going to be able to because I don't accept visitors. I don't like people just coming by. So don't even try. You'll be greeted with a 21 gun salute. And I ain't talking about the Marines or whatever. I don't know. All right. Now, this is a great pop. We we'll picked this down at the pick this up down at the Walmart a couple years ago. This is Rachel Ray collection, real nice. She wrote it. She put him. She signed it. 
souvenir keepsake. Very nice. All right. We're going to use, ooh, I bought this for my mom. Technically, I bought it for myself, but I left it here so she could use it too. Whatever. I bought this for my mom. This comes from Betty Crocker. And I don't know if anybody knows what this is. It's not a lawn dart. It's a, does anyone know what this is? Does anyone know what this is? Name it. It almost looks like a fucking missile or a, something that goes in someone's ass. What is this, Betty Cucker? It's your anal beads. I could stick the handle up my ass for sure. Yeah, definitely. You better, yeah. Mm hmm. Is it a bubble? <laughs> Guys. All right, it's an ass torpedo. It's the next, it's the new football of the future. Let's watch it fly. All right. Oh, shit. Ouch. I don't want to break it. It was like $5 down at the Walmart. Oh, now I got disgusting spider webs on it. Oh, crap. <sighs> What is it, guys? What is it? Does anyone know what this is? Of course you don't know what this is, because you're not the meat boss. All right? I'll tell you what this is. This is a meat chopper upper thing. And you get your meat, your ground beef, and you just chop the dickens out of it, and it chops it up quicker instead of using a freaking wooden spatula or spoon. It takes forever. Who has time for that? I don't. I've got to go on about my... Actually, I do have time for that. All right, back to the video live. There's no edits in this. So we're going to use this bamboo cutting board. Why am I using a bamboo cutting board? Because it's the only cutting board we have. And it's the only cutting board we have. And that's the end of that story. It has toxic chemicals in it, though. These bamboo cutting boards and chopsticks... Apparently have a bunch of chemicals in them. So I wouldn't advise using this, but look at me. I'm not in the best health, so whatever. Let's just throw some more shit on the fire. Whatever. It's a fucking trash fire. My my life and my body is already a fucking dumpster fire. We might as well throw some more poison in it. All right. Let's get some cooking done here. Now, for look at that. You notice this? You notice this? Guess who did the dishes? My mom loaded those up. So that was, I was going to do it, but she beat me to it. So most of them were my dad's really. So. Yeah. So shout outs to mom. All right, let's get back to this. We're about to cook. All right. Going to have to take off my, my hoodie for this one. This is, today I'm sporting some faded glory from Walmart. Today's shirt is from Canuck. I don't know if this guy watches anymore, but he used to watch on you now. He sent me this shirt. They got a little hole somewhere. I don't know where. There's a hole. Oh, right there. You got a bullet hole. Haters, you know, they're just trying to shoot bullets at me and shit. I dodged it. It just hit me in the rib and then ricocheted off because my ribs are real tough. Or wait a minute. Was, that the, was it a bullet that I got shot with or was it a shark attack? I don't remember. No, that one was the bullet hole. The shark attack was another shoot. I've got to, I'm a man of many legends and stories. All true, by the way. Okay. What are we going to cook today in the kitchen, Josh? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to make something. Okay, I'm hungry. All right, maybe you're like me. You're like, Josh, I'm hungry. I'm tired of eating fast food for the last year and a half. It's garbage. Look what we have in the fridge. Okay, first we're going to need this beef. All right, we're just going to, I don't know how much it is. Who has time to measure this shit out? Put that in there. Perfect. Now it's ready to cook. Okay. Did I forget anything? Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn the oven on. Or the rain. Guys, we got to take the meat out of the package. What's going on? Nobody even told me about this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, okay. 
Throw that in there. Pretty good amount of meat. That's what a normal person would say. <laughs> but we're not normal. We need more meat. That's why I have another pack of meat. Charles, thank you so much for the three dollars. You are somewhere between. You are somewhere between a scuffed Chef Ramsay and Rocket Man Kim King Un. Rocket Man Kim King Un. Sure. Thank you so much for the three dollars. Hey, and I want to give a shout out to POV Pranks. You gave me a couple donations last night. I guess they did not come through on the stream labs. I just want to give him a special shout out and greeting. And thank you so much for your donations last night, POV Pranks. You were a great man. And one day we'll be friends. I mean, we'll meet up in real life. We're friends. But I mean, we'll be like, you know, we'll be like, we'll hang out. We'll go play like air hockey or something at Dave and Buster's or something fun. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. We'll do something. Or maybe we just won't and we'll never hang out. I don't know. Only life will tell. Only know. <coughs> oh, God. Ugh. Yeah. I woke up today extra creepy, extra sick feeling, not feeling the greatest. Didn't really feel like streaming. But you know what? I did it for you guys. I knew a lot of you guys were bored. You didn't have nothing to do. You got homework you don't want to do. You need some distractions. What can I watch? A man cook something? Oh gosh, guys, I'm doing it for you. Any girls in here? I wish. Oh, I got some, speaking of girls in the romance department, I got some sad news, guys. I need to meet, M-E-A-T, a new girl, because my fleshlight and I got in an argument this morning. She said I needed to take a shower first. I need to take a shower first? When was the last time she washed up? Girl, I need to take a shower first? Bitch. I think I would break up with her if I could. I was just like, get the hell out. And then I was like, I'm sorry, baby. I love you. And we made up. And we had sex. It was awesome. <laughs> All right. It was like real good. I spurted it, went all over my stomach. It was real good. All right. Let's get this meat. Oh, crap. We got meat on the ground. Fuck. Well, any other person would just throw that away. Not this show. Put it in there. All right. We're not going to use this whole package, but we need at least this much. How much is that? Two giant cubes full. You need at least this much meat in the bottom of your pan. If you use any less, I don't even want to talk to you. Get away. And this is all for me, by the way. Don't think I'm sharing this with my family. I'm not going to share them. Share it with them. You're not getting a damn, not even a spoon of it. It's all for me. None for you. It's my new mansion. I bought with all your guys' cyber donations. Only well, took five months and now I'm rich. Thanks, guys. Well, I earned it, didn't I? I got five. Oh, oh. 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 That's a big ass fucking eggplant. Nervous sweat. Eggplant and nervous sweat. They called that nervous sweat. I like that it actually named what the hell it was. Eggplant. Nervous sweat. That was Interesting. I've never heard it do that before. Thank you, Jim. We're having a great time. We've already made eight dollars. Holy shit! I'm freaking rich, guys. All right. Now this is a little. Now this is a little thing I do. I put water in with this. People, you know, Josh, you're putting water in with the beef. What are you doing? You're a madman. That is true. I'm a madman. I'm insane in the membrane, like Cypress Hill. But I do that because water and fat. Fat, oil and fat, they, they're insoluble in water. They don't mix. So the water helps break the fat, take separate the fat off the meat. And then we got this big backyard in the back. I'll just go dump it out in the backyard and burn the shit out of the grass and piss my dad off probably. <laughs> I mean, I love my parents. My roommate. 
They shall always be referred to as my roommates. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, we got it. Wonderful. Okay, they're at church praying that I will leave the house sometime and not die here. But guess what? I'm not leaving. We'll see who outlives whose, won't we? Parental units. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. 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 I just messed up my whole angle here. Oh, goodness. Boy. Goodness. You are literally mentally unstable. I could be mentally unstable or I might be doing a live stream and trying to entertain people. You decide. All right, let's do this. This is called washing your hands. Some of you guys should do that more because you're sick. I'm using soap. There's some great soap you can get down at the Walmart. Real nice stuff. Anti germs and whatnot. How dare you call me unstable? Boiled extra value meat. What the fuck is the noise? Did a ghost just come out of the faucet? What was that? It was like. <laughs> Let's just turn that off. At least it didn't start pouring red blood out of the sink like last time. Whew. I don't know what the hell. The demons are back. Well, that's good. I was wondering about them. The demons are back. Oh, no. Oh, the chupacabra is back. No. 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 Do we have Miser over here? Yes, we do have Miser. Measure we have Tarje. I mean, I don't want to go to a shithole like that because I'm loyal to Walmart. Because I'm, I'm on, because I'm a real one. Anyway, by the way, this this one's too hot. Okay, let's use this other one. See, my mom, she got this. I would never. If you're buying a new range, I would never recommend an electric range. Always go for gas. With fire, it's better. This electric range. Pure garbage, but it works. My mom thinks it's nice and easier to clean, but it's actually just a big pain in the ass. I don't like it. All right, let's get back. Let's get to our ingredients. Okay, let's go to the. Let's go check out the refrigerator now. When we go to the refrigerator, granted, we don't have a budget for like animations and claymation and stuff, but just use your imagination, or maybe somebody can throw an edit in there from Pee Wee's Playhouse, or the you know the butters ice skating with the, the uh, you know, the ice cream or something. You know, they're having a party. Oh, what a fun time. Just a normal refrigerator. Gosh, dang it. I swear, one of these days, I wanna, I'm want i going to catch a party going on here, and I swear to God, you're not going to like it. You're all grounded. Okay. This is the – my mom has hidden the wine from my dad as if he – isn't like whatever all right so i put cabernet this we're making a cabernet a cabernet marinara but honestly i think the cabernet is a little bitter i prefer merlot we're gonna make a a bolognese sauce which is a meat sauce where it's chopped up you know you can make spaghetti and meatballs all you want but there's a big ass meatball do i want a giant just chunk of meat and then some sauce no i want sauce and meat and all of the flavors in every bite. That's why I like bolognese. Because I'm a real one. Alright. Let's go. Here's the carrot I bought. I didn't know my mom already had like... Ooh, what a limp. Ooh, the carrot I bought sucks. It's like limp. Ooh. Carrot I bought sucks. Alright. Carrot I bought is no good. Alright. Let's... How come the carrot I bought sucks so much? And these from Kroger are still good. GMOs, bro. Okay. God, open! Damn it. It's hard to do with one hand. All right. One carrot. Okay, throw it in there. One onion. I don't need to throw that. I don't really want to bruise it. You don't have to wash it. A jalapeno pepper. Okay, I thought I had two jalapeno. Oh, two jalapeno peppers. Okay, bonus. I thought I had two. I do have two. And the rest of this onion, we'll just chop it up too. And 
that's pretty much most of our ingredients. We got our cans of uh, ooh, let me turn that down. We've got our cans of crut. Here we go. Petite diced tomatoes. Petite diced tomatoes. Crushed tomato. Crushed tomato. And crushed tomato. Thank you, Charles, for the three dollars, sir. Charles, never quit your job. What is the difference between what you are cooking and your haircut? Nothing. I am sure it will eventually turn out okay in time. What? Charles, was that an insult? I wasn't sure. It sounded sort of like an insult. Charles, what was that? Was that it? Wait, did my mom get some Rick and Morty Szechuan sauce? No, it's just ranch. Damn it, mom. Why can't you get super, super rare sauces? Dang it. All right, let's get, let's get her. I want to get my, uh, my spices out. Black pepper, salt. Where's my onion powder? Probably some onion powder. I might use, even though I put garlic, ooh, and we get garlic in here, fresh garlic. I like to buy it already pretty minced because I'm basic. I don't want to get, I didn't want to buy a garlic press and peel the garlic and da da da. Who has the time? It's two dollars for this. Thing lasts a long fucking time. Okay. Get some Italian. Is this the one? No. Where's the Italian? The new one I just bought. The new Italian seasoning. No, 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 no. Italian. What the fuck? Okay, let's see. Oh! Oh. My mom likes to hoard things. You notice there's a lot of tables with just stuff that's worthless. Don't do that. All right. What do we got here? Gluten-free? Well, no shit. They're fucking little green things. Some idiot was like, spices from China are poisonous. Get the fuck out of here. Nothing from China is poisonous. You're an idiot. Sounds like you've been watching Fox News. All right. What do we got here? Let's look at the ingredients here. Oh, this one's basil. Okay. That one's pretty easy. It's on the front. Now, this is the one. That, the blends. That's what you got to see what's actually in this because all Italian seasoning isn't Italian seasoning. Sometimes it's mostly oregano. Sometimes it's mostly thyme. Sometimes it's mostly basil. You're going to see what it is. The number one ingredient is what it mostly is. This one is mostly marjoram. I don't know what the fudge marjoram is, but this one's mostly marjoram. Then second, oregano. Then thyme. Then rosemary. Then savory. Just something that says savory. Is, sa is something named savory? Is that a freaking herb? It says savory, and then it says basil. Whoever, okay, maybe this shit is from China, because that's a typo. I don't think there's anything named savory, but maybe I'm incorrect. Then we got basil, and then last but not least, a little bit of sage. Because sage is pretty potent. You don't need much. You just want a little zip, a little, just a little, a little, a little, beep, beep, just not much. So I've got basil on the side, because we need more basil than that. I like a little sweeter. Okay, what else do we have here in the spice world? Spice girls aren't didn't make an appearance. Red pepper, yes, yes, I like that. Make kick up the spice. Where's our paprika? We get some paprika in there. Maybe we're gonna need a little garlic powder, probably. Yes, paprika, bay leaves. I don't think we're gonna need bay leaves in this one. We might save that when we turn it into chili. So I'm making this into pasta sauce first. Then in a day or so, when I'm about half or when I'm about halfway through tomorrow, actually probably, I'm going to turn the pasta sauce into chili, and we'll still keep eating it. And it'll be what I like. That's what I like to do. That way, it'll be more. It'll be exciting again to your taste buds and everything. Because if you have a whole big pot of spaghetti sauce and stuff, you're probably going to get not as excited about it by the time you. You know, after you have a few bowls of it. So change the flavor of it. You know, curry it up. Do something. You can get a little wild with it. You know, put some cumin in there. And some Where did our curry go? Where is my curry? What is it? I bought curry powder. What the fuck? Oh, there it is. Good. We're not needing, we don't need the curry powder, but I just like to know where my spices are. And then my mom has two things of parsley. I don't know. Not many things you use for parsley besides Alfredo sauce. <laughs> All right, let's get to chopping this these vegetables, and hopefully we won't chop our hands off. Because that so far I haven't done that in my life, but you never know. Sometimes I'm not very careful. I mean, I have cut myself with the kitchen blade before. 
Okay, let's see what we got here. All right. Do you know the muffin man? My mom always keeps like bottles and things. There's just stuff everywhere, basically. My mom's a pack rat. She, well, she, I don't know. They, people call them pack rats, hoarders, whatever. She's like a hoarder, basically, and won't get rid of shit. She has like a, a tick, and she gets like very. If you throw. Like, there's four different types of hand sanitizer here. Do we need four types of hand sanitizer over there? Does, do they use that very often? The answer is usually no to whatever question it is. Do we need this? No. Will it stay here forever? Do we need black shoe polish in the kitchen? No, we don't. But I'm going to be scared to throw it away. Mom, throw me out. You took it with the shoe polish out. Oh, God. Why? Oh, yeah, dude. It's, it's pretty scary. We don't need that, bro. Trust me, you don't want it. My mom will cry. She, if you throw anything away, she cries and gets real mad. It's not, it's not a game, man. She gets real upset. Don't do it. Cut your finger off for content, homie. <laughs> okay. Let's not do that. All right. I'm gonna chippity chop, chippity chippity chop. Actually, before I chippity chop this onion, let's choppy chop this. This uh, choppy chop. Oh crap. <laughs> All right, let's use this thing. This is the Betty Crocker meat chopper. This is actually just a tool made to chop meat for spaghettis and ooh, I'm gonna show you guys how this thing works. Uh, look at that! Look at that! Oh my god! I'm not getting even sponsored by Betty Crocker. I just love this thing. It's great. It was five dollars. I don't give a shit. It was amazing. I don't know how I lived without it. Look at this thing. Just. Make it real easy work of that. Do, do, do. Chop, chop, chop. This is good. Get your aggression out. Chop, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Chopping the motherfucking spaghetti sauce, bitch. Chippy, chippy, chippy. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to wish Adam22 a happy birthday. Saw that it was your birthday. And since we're best friends, I thought I'd wish you a happy birthday, buddy. Hope you're watching this vlog. Love you. All right. Rope gang. What is it? I don't even know what rope gang is. The clout gang. The phase bank something. I watched a phase bank. I watched a phase banks vlog earlier. I'm not happy about it. I'm not proud of it, but I think I needed to tell you guys about it so you can judge me. I turned into a fucking 13 year old tween. The editing was pretty good, though, honestly. He doesn't edit his own shit anymore at this point, but he drops off the footage to his editor at the end of the night, and then the guy stays up all night editing, and then they drop it the next day. But damn, the turnaround and shit is amazing. I mean, the amount of, like, extra shit that the guy puts in the vlogs, he's got a really good editor. Well, no shit. When you're getting millions of views, you can afford to pay someone? Holy shit. Wish somebody could edit this crap. Look. More interesting. No one wants to do it. So. I'll just have to keep doing live videos. <laughs> God. Why? Why? Yeah, I mean, and you got to check out FaZe Banks' new vlog today. He bought four, like 20 pairs of shoes, and then he opens them and talks about the place that he bought the shoes from that probably gave him a shit, a huge discount. Oh yeah. Don't want to miss that. Do you feel like watching people open boxes of shoes? Want to check that out. I'll edit your van. Be right back. You better not edit the van. The van is perfect. There's nothing to fix about it. Van's running really good too. I think we're gonna get three hundred thousand miles out of the van, but probably eventually the van will break down on camera, and I'll hopefully one of you guys can come pick me up and give me a ride somewhere and not murder me. All right, that's that thing. A little chopper. It's still got a chop. Still a lot of work chopping meat, bro. I mean, not as much work as this 
processing the whole damn animal and whatever, like Farmer John did. Uh, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you gotta have some Christmas snowman pot holders. Oh my god. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. I've got to go dump this in the backyard. See, I'll use this to hold part of it. Here's the way I'll do it. I'll show you guys a little trick. So you just put the lid a little to the side and then hold it with your thumbs. Not your real thumbs. But you use That's why the pot holders or a towel or something is necessary. And then pour that water. I wouldn't pour it in the... You don't ever pour it in the trash or down the drain or in the toilet because it will clog up your sewage system and your toilet and your drains fairly quickly. And don't put it in your trash bag because... The hot water will melt right through the trash bag. Do not do that. That's why I'm going to throw this outside. I'll be right back. Just play some music or touch each other or something with the consent until I get back. I'll be right back, guys. Only consensual touching, by the way. 18 and older, also. Done. Done drain it. Drain most of the fat off. That's what the water is good for. If you just want to drain the fat off on its own, it's not going to separate. It's not going to come off. You're not going to get as much fat off. And I don't really like all that greasy fat stuff and oil coming to the top of my. Oh, get out of here, demons from hell in the sink. I don't like all those, all that oil and grease floating to the top of my sauce. And so far, now of course, there's great room for error when you do this little thing, you know, or the sideways thing. Because what you could do is easily, whoop, you know, push it too far, and all your meat falls out on the ground. I've never done that yet. I never want to do that yet, ever, because I would cry and get very upset. Because that's a lot of quality meat. This cow. Gave up his life so that we would eat it and not share it with the family. So let's make sure we respect where we meet, respect that life that was given for us. All right, and use every bit of it. All right, let's get to this part, okay? I'm just gonna put the, uh, I'm put, well, I'm gonna leave the heat on low. <coughs> let's see. Okay. Put on a little bit medium. <clears throat> Man, I'm so creeped up. I really do not feel good, guys. I'm so congested. Oh man, I need to go to the doctor. I think I'm going to go get a physical and a checkup and get tested for STDs. I know I don't have HIV, so I got tested for that in LA at a free testing place they're gonna like free rapid test so i was like why not hiv free so that's good to know but as far as other shit honestly uh, it's been a while since i got tested so it'll be kind of nice to have be responsible and know that my shit's all good and then always use a condom next time all right Unless it's your girlfriend, and you think it's going to be forever, and then you guys date for a week, and then it's over. Story of my life. All right, let's keep it going. This is not... Look at those knife skills, bro. You've seen it like a straight... This is not how you're supposed to cut things, but that's how I do it. I don't give a shit. 
This is how I cut him. I cut things. I wish I had a little tiny mushroom. No, not the magic kind. Although, couldn't make this content any less interesting, am I right? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's great. Look at that good gravy. Okay. Now, here's a big old onion right here. Slice, here's the way I cut an onion. Slice off the top and the bottom. Handy right here. Slice it down a little. What the f? All right. I'm gonna pull off the. Is this like a good layer? Oh, you got to see which layer's the thinnest. Every onion's different the way it grows and stuff. How many layers it has, you know? So just peel off the paper sometimes this green layer if it's real thin throw it away if it's thin like paper you want to throw away this one's thick on that layer so I'm gonna leave that part okay here's the paper off the onion okay now sometimes it can be thin on one side not the other see like I just told you see how this is like thin like paper you don't want to eat that you don't want that in your food it's gonna taste gross it's gonna be like thin oh yeah actually this fucking side's probably gnarly too is it? Or is it just that one side? I think we're good on that side. Then. All right. If you're going to a restaurant and have that. I found some a big piece of thin onion the other day and something. It was just disgusting. I don't remember where, but it's like, what the hell is this? Damn chefs and get their shit together. Here's the way. I, this is the way I dice an onion. So I, I cut it like this and I use my hand to kind of hold it together. And I just. Go through, boom. I like a larger cutting board. See how stuff's falling off of it? It's a lot easier. I need to buy a bigger one at Walmart. It's good too to tuck your fingers back, but I never do because I just feel like things slide around more. I like holding it with my fingertips. That's just what well, I've always done. I just do it carefully. I don't do it. I take my time. Yeah, the way I do it's not right for a restaurant. Yeah, it's not good enough. Now, right here could be dangerous. Holding stuff here, knife slides, cuts you. So I'm going to tuck the fingers back in a little bit right there and just have my knuckles out. There we go. That's the way you're supposed to do that. And boom. So you kind of tuck your fingers in and use the, the blade goes against the side of your knuckles back and forth. That's the way to do it right here with your fingertips going down and you tuck your fingers back a little bit. That's the proper way. All right. We need to dump this into the meat because we don't have any other room on this thing. Do it like that. And I like to cut with the grain and the veins the first time. I like the way the lines go with the onion. When you're cutting onions, they usually recommend if you want them in strips, it's good to cut with the lines. Because it's less bruising and stuff on the molecular level or some stuff i don't know man whatever just chop the damn onion up and eat it and shut up food scientists gosh dang it right guys oh this is the right way this is the wrong i mean okay right here okay it's a little sketch so we'll do that the safer way boom done that's one onion that's so far we've got one onion and the part of that other onion All right. Oh, I just noticed I left the light on out here. Let me stir in this onion real quick. I don't think I need to move the camera and show me stirring something, but I'm just stirring meat into the onions, or the onions into the meat. This is meat and onions right now, and it's smelling good already. It's smelling really good. I prefer to use a wooden, uh, I like these flat wooden things when I'm making chili and different things instead of a spoon because that flat bottom is real nice to scrape to the bottom of a pot when you're making chili or spaghetti sauce to make sure you're getting all this stuff like if you got a rounded spoon it's only making contact with that little 
the curved part. See, this one's flat, so we can make more contact. So you can actually get all that stuff scraped off the bottom so it doesn't stick to the pan and burn. See, there is some method to this madness. All right. Now I'm washing some jalapenos. Rest in peace. John Dunsworth. He didn't say that, by the way. It was Ricky, but Trailer Park Boys. One of my TPB fans. Put it in the chat. TPB. Put it in the comments. And type your favorite, uh, share your favorite in, in recognition and for uh, Mr. Leahy, John Dunsworth. I know he died like a month or two ago, but I haven't really addressed it. I really like that show. So maybe uh, share some of your favorite, um, you know, Mr. Leahy moments in the comments section below when we when this VOD's posted. Okay, these are jalapenos. Or if you're a dick, they're jalapenos. Okay. Slice it down the middle. I like to hold it between my fingers like that. See, I was kind of holding it with my thumb, and then the knife, knife almost slipped onto my thumb. Don't do that. All right, give it a little V cut. Cut that V out there. Okay. God, I can't believe I watched a Phase Banks fucking vlog, man. Watched a couple of Casey Nyset vlogs. I tried to watch an Ice Poseidon vlog from his meetup. I was like, oh, let's see how Paul's meetup went. I watched like about half of it, and I was like, man, I'm hungry. I'm just going to go cook. I watched all the Phase Banks one, though. Oh, God. Why would I reckon? Why would I even admit that? God damn it. I've got to appeal to the Purple Army. I know a lot of them are thoughts. go and let's go now i want to wash off these most of your spice is coming from the uh coming from the uh actually the a lot of people think it's the seeds it's the seeds but it's the meat that's touching the seeds too when the seeds grow like this white meat that has a lot of the spice in it i'm cutting it out because my parents and my family i was just kidding i will share some of this food if they want some i was just joking about that but they don't really usually like spicy food. They don't like food with flavor. So they usually don't even fuck with my cooking. So get fine with me because I love my cooking. They're picky eaters, so whatever. But. <coughs> you got a seed on them. Got a seed on me. Okay, I almost cut these down there. Down the line here. I don't know why I got this carrot on here. I don't need it in there right now. Sometimes you don't even have to hold the stuff with your fingers, you know, like stuff like this. I know this isn't the right way to do it, but hey, it cuts it and does the job and it's safe. So whatever. I like to line them out like this and then boom, big long blade. I just do them all. You want to try to cut them as uniform as you can because they cook more evenly when the pieces are the same size. Because if you got some that are real big and some that are real little. They're going to cook, different, but it's not really that big of a deal. Honestly, it's going to cook. I mean, we're cooking the dickens out of this stuff. Low and, you know, we're going to cook it up for a long time, so it's not really. All right, let's get this carrot on there. It's got a yeah. And I wish I had one mushroom. I would put one mushroom chopped up in there, but I didn't buy one, so. What else? No big deal. I'm not a huge mushroom fan anyway, but one's good. I just like one for flavor. Now, why am I putting carrot in there? Well, actually, uh, traditional marinara is called for carrot. There's carrot in a lot of sauces. Carrot's a base in a lot of sauce. Hot sauce. And... Oh, let's see. Hot sauce and marinara sauce. Oh, carrot's good. It's good for your eyes too. I think the carotene's good for it or something. All right. Went and talked to the CX Purple Army dudes over in Discord earlier. Actually, I was surprised a lot of people uh, were a lot nicer to me than usual. So that's cool. Still, though, fuck Victor, right, guys? We're still on agreement about that. Kyle's the best henchman for Mice Beside, right? He's the only one who really gets fucked about. 
fucking Nathan too. He's annoying and a douche. But Victor's my home. Or, no, no, God, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Kyle's my homie. There we go. Kyle, love you, bud. Love Paul. Voltasad's cool. He's chill. He kind of doesn't like me that much, and he's a Trump supporter, but whatever. He got mad I couldn't remember his name. Well, sorry, I don't know many Voltasads, bud. You got the Poseidon, the Voltasad. I don't know. I can't remember all these Cybertronic names you guys have picked for yourselves. What am I supposed to do? Why can't you be normal like Kyle? You know, that's a good Christian name. Kyle. A, he's a good boy. Kyle's a real good boy. One day I hope I see Kyle again. And Paul. And Voltasad. And fuck Victor. He's got no one to leech off of lately, by the way. Official videographer. On Tuesday. He's a human selfie stick. Oh my god. Put some carrots in my sounds. It's gonna be so good, baby. I actually think Victor loves me. I think he loves me. Because I put, man, I miss Paul and Kyle. Kyle's my favorite Ice Poseidon's Ice Poseidon henchman. And then I was like, oh, fuck Victor by the, fuck Victor though. <laughs> Victor's like, why don't you go create some more scripted drama or something hey why don't you go uh, hire a fake policeman to go uh, act like he uh, arrest stole your car or whatever or ice's girlfriend's car or whatever oh boy victor you look like an idiot on that one like his whole gripe about me was like scripted content by the way i think victor actually was starting to like me and he got mad that he believed that i worked at that car wash it, like tore up his little heart because he believed in me. He's like, it made him look bad. But he trusted me for a moment, and then it was like at a moment where I was lying. I think Victor actually is in love with me. God, I can't. He's got such big muscles, you know. Like I feel like he gives good hugs. He's buff, but not too buff, you know. He's buff, but he looks like he doesn't try that hard, you know. He's just naturally buff. God, what are we? Why, why couldn't have worked out with us? Why? Why do you have to get me banned from live stream fails? What do I gotta do? Cut my finger off to get on live stream fails these days? Jeez. Well, that's not going to happen. Because we're pros over here. And I think that's everything chopped up. That's the biggest, uh, that's the biggest, that's the hardest part is just chopping up stuff. Yeah. Cleanup's not that bad. We just got that one pot. I'm gonna rinse this thing. <coughs> Man, I need to get back on my and I uh, not need to press this my what are they uh <coughs> decongestants? There we go. Alright. I just cut up some vegetables, so that stuff's fine. You don't have to wash it again. Just rinse it off. Alright. Here we go. This is Tumbleweed. Thanks for the three dollars. I hope me and you are cool now. Shout out to the Discord and shout out to my girls, Jeff, Kitty, Yaz, and my dude Tiger. My dude Tiger. All right, guys. We got some. Look at that. Look at the colors in there. It's pretty. Got the help. Couple jalapenos. De seeded. De stemmed. Well. <clears throat> One and a quarter onion and a bunch of ground beef. I know, like, real nice. But look at here, I'm gonna use both hands so I can hold this and really give it a good thorough stirring. That way, what I like to do is the stuff that's on the bottom is the hottest. So we need to put the stuff on the. <clears throat> it's almost creating like an oven. All this meat and stuff, it kind of holds in the uh, the heat and stuff and it'll cook those vegetables. Now I want to cook these vegetables good. I'm gonna put some 
some red wine in here. I'm just going to cook, cook this with some red wine. It's just Merlot, cheap $3 oak leaf. This is the cheapest, bo cheapest wine I could find at Walmart. $3 bottle oak leaf Merlot. I like the Merlot better for making sauce than the Cabernet Sauvignon because I feel like the Cabernet Sa Sauvignon is very bitter. This is a little sweeter, but it's not overly sweet or anything like a, like a, uh, I don't know, what would be a sweet wine? Like a, bl not a blush. I don't know. It's not an overly sweet wine. Like a white Zinfandel or something else. It's good. It's a nice, it's a good wine to cook with. Mm, that smells good too. Now alcohol is going to cook out. You're like, oh, you're cooking a lot, of, a lot of wine. You know, it'll be safe for kids and stuff too. If they want to um, eat it, the alcohol will cook off. But yeah, for cooking, you don't need to be, don't spend a bunch of money for cooking wine. Just buy a cheap bottle. But the flavor is great. Great flavor. I'm going to drink the rest of this bottle too. Put about, well, I drank like a little bit of it, but I put about half the bottle in there. Also, it's flat too. It's easier to do that and clean off your spoon or your little spatula. Then I rinse it off and I usually sit it on the cutting board or something that's clean. Oh, I forgot to put my garlic in here too. I better put it in now before my dad gets home. He hates garlic. He hates garlic, guys. See how easy that was? I'm gonna have to get my hands all stinky or garlic that much. I could have used the utensil and not touch it at all. No, no, actually, they do stink. Wash my hands, washing my hands. Good old golly, I'm washing my hands. Washing my hands, washing those hands. Good golly, oh molly. Oh, um, golly, oh molly. <coughs> Good golly, oh my. Golly, oh mighty, maybe. Good God Almighty. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. All right. I'm going to get that garlic mixed into there. Oh, my God. This smells like wine. A little bit of garlic. Some, oh, God. That smells so good, guys. Oh, my God. Now, the carrots will take the longest. Technically, I should have sauteed and cooked the carrots before I put them in there. It would have been a better idea. I'll try to do that. Think about Think ahead next time. I could have thrown the carrots in with the meat. I don't want to put all the stuff in with the meat, though, because then when I'm straining off the grease and throwing the grease away and the oil, I'm throwing away all the flavor from the vegetables, and that's what gives the sauce its most its flavor. Tomato is just the base. All right. Let's let that do its thing. And I want to drink some of that wine, but I also realize I need it for cooking. Maybe I want to eat more or drink or drink more. Maybe I want to uh, have a little more wine flavor after it's done. You know, after it's the sauce, the flavors are going to change. Do we have butter? The flavors will change as it cooks and things. So I need to be able to uh, adjust the flavor. Maybe I don't need more red wine. Maybe it'll need a little more garlic powder. I don't buy garlic salt. Get regular garlic powder, onion powder. Don't get onion salt. Don't get don't get spices that have salt in them. It has the word salt. And look at the ingredients too. It says Cajun spice or Cajun something. Usually the number one ingredient is either going to be paprika or salt. Usually it's salt. And then you're just buying, paying, you know, two dollars or three or four dollars mostly just for salt. And then if you want extra flavor, well, you've over salted your food now. Uh, if you want more Cajun flavor, well, and then you've added way too much salt too to try to get that flavor. So it's better to get the get the spices individually. So I get the paprika individually, the garlic, all the things that make up Cajun powder and all the different things. And then you can just make your own spice blends. You can make your own every, and you can kind of change how the things taste. See, when you use something that's already blend, when you keep adding that that blend. To a thing, it's always going to, I mean, if you've got a blend you love, yeah, of course, make some blends you like. 
but sometimes you want to like tweak the flavor. Maybe I want a little more cumin. Maybe I want a little more, add a little allspice and nutmeg and kind of make a Cincinnati style skyline chili. Well, you can't do that if, if all the flavor, if you got just a mixed thing, cause it's when you add, you're adding all the other stuff to it too. And you're not going to, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to mess up. It'll, uh, it's not going to adjust the ratios or anything. I'm going to have a shot of whiskey. Dude, shut the fuck up. Let your mother sleep. Uh, it's 9 p.m. My parents are at church. <laughs> fuck off. And I don't live with my parents. They live with me, okay? This is my house. They just haven't died yet. Uh, well, technically, they said they're, gonna, they're going to give the house to my brother because they've wasted so much money on me throughout the years. Okay, so it's John's house. They just haven't died yet. And then after they die, John will kick me out on the streets. And then I will have nowhere to go. I wish that was a joke. You son of a bitch, John. All right. Now, today's tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Evan Williams, half gallon of whiskey. Evan Williams, the greatest beverage to drink when you are... Having want to have a great day or just get out of a bad day or have an even worse day. Evan Williams, the solution and cause of all of life's problems. Evan Williams bourbon whiskey. Another fine product from the friendly folks of Global Corp. Love that. Alcoholism. All right, let's have a little bit. Oh. <coughs> oh, I tried to gargle it like mouthwash. Uh, oh. Oh, it's really cold, too. Oh, oh that was gross. Oh. 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 Woo! Oh, God. Oh. oh, I think my parents are here now. Here we go, guys. What's my job? Yeah, I had to. I have to work every day, Dad. I don't get days off. <laughs> smells good. Was it need more garlic or what? <laughs> Hey, my roommates are home. It's Chaz and uh, Barbara, my roommates. We go. To, we went to the same college together. Back at Indiana College. Pretty cool. More garlic. More garlic. More. Chaz Bono. Sneak dist. I don't get days off. Sneak dist. I don't get. I do get days off. Every day is a day off, right? All right. And whatever chemicals my mom puts on the stove to clean it, I'm always like, are the chemicals safe? Because I'm putting the pans and things on there, and then we're putting it over the food. I'm sure whatever chemicals are on this aren't the best to be eating. What are the chemicals that are used to clean this? Because I've been putting the lid on there, but then I put it back on there. And I'm concerned that maybe there might be some residual chemicals left that might be getting into my food. Let's see. It's just this. Removes burn on the food. What do you mean it's just that? What's the... It doesn't say... Actually, like wipe that, wash that stuff off after you clean it off, and then you don't wipe it off. You don't wipe that stuff off. You wipe it on, then you wipe it off, but there's nothing to clean it or anything. You're probably poisoning us. This is going to be a Merlot 
bolognese marinara. Basically spaghetti sauce with a little red wine. But way better. I took the jalapenos uh, stems out too, so it shouldn't be too spicy. Where's the eat out of the trash content? This time, Mom, I almost got away with it too. Clean it up yourself if you're concerned. Huh? You could have watched TV earlier. Just put it on the other input. It wouldn't have affected my video. Take the lid off. I'm not taking the lid off because I'm steaming the onions and the carrots because I want them to cook quicker. So I'm leaving it on medium. I'm just trying to steam it so it cooks quicker. And then I'll put the sauce, sauce in and let it cook. I guess I could just put the sauce in. The sauce has got to cook, cook up and stuff anyway. Eat some good old. This mutate guy used to be a big viewer fan, but after I banned them, they've really. And then I, I re reduce, not steaming. No, I'm steaming the. I'm not reducing right now. I'm not trying to reduce anything. I'm going to thicken it up and reduce and do a reduction when I put the tomatoes in there. Okay? Okay? Some of you guys think you're experts, but you're less than that. Okay? So let's just pipe down over there in Chatville with your. Crap, trash talk, okay? Okay? Okay. That's great. Throw that shit in the microwave. Unban everyone, Josh. Yeah, right, Integra. <laughs> Make your dad some food. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here. What, the new bank? Oh, the new, uh, What, the new video? No, oh, that was just from last night. It's fine. I never say hi. You never say anything interesting that to to uh, earn a hello. Make dad food. Now is your chance. Bone is in New Orleans. Go to, he's going to New Orleans too? Shit, I was doing that. In like, Well, he's going the wrong time. I'm going on Mardi Gras when shit's going to be popping off. <coughs> I've turned against the chat. Interview Burger Dead? Yeah, yeah, right. I'm not in, I'm not nice to Dave. I am nice to Dave, guys. It's just Dave and I have been friends since seventh grade. And it's like beyond a married couple kind of relationship where there's certain things that, you know, Dave knows how to push my buttons and vice versa. And there's certain things that get under each other's skin about things. So, Like you've never argued with a friend that you've had for a long time about some shit that they do all the freaking time that pisses you off. Get out of here. You're always rude to everyone. Well, I don't know. Don't watch my streams then. What can I say? You have an option to watch someone else do something else and not complain, you know? So maybe you could do that and fuck off How about if you have an issue with my streams or what I do or what I say or what I eat, what I... I don't know, just anything. You can just... You know, fuck it off, you know, if you got a big issue with something. You could just kiss my albino ginger ass. I'm not putting the fire on high. <laughs> Gotta be a little selfish in life. That's right. Then peace! All right, Scott. Here, here's my peace sign. Oh, I forgot one finger. Oops, no, I didn't. That's not a peace sign. It's a flip you off sign. Scott with one T. I don't even know how to spell your name. Scoot, don't waste breath for haters, man. One thing I've learned. He's so true. Do I have a hairy ass? Not anymore. My mom helped me with that yesterday. <laughs> After we turned the camera off, mom, mother helped me wax my bottom. <laughs> Dude, we need to go to spring break. I'll be when is spring break? I'll be down south. I could go to spring break. I'll be around Austin, Texas. We could go to Corpus Christi or something like that, maybe. I'll be around Austin, Texas in March for South by Southwest. That's the plan, anyway. 
bro, why do you always wear that shirt? Uh, I have a few shirts. I wore this one because all of my clothes are in the van, so I only have a few shirts. I like to wear the shirts a few times, too, until they have, like, an odor or a stank to them. So I get my use out of them. I got a, usually I have about four shirts in rotation that I wear. I don't know. <laughs> Someone said, I was like, when's spring break? Someone said, I don't know. Spring, maybe? I don't know, maybe it's in springtime. Just gonna say. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I can see that. I think spring break's before spring, though. It's in like March or April. It's before spring, right? I have four of these shirts. No, I don't. Only one. I have four shirts, and they all have that same hole on the side. An old bullet wound from a gang gang initiation that went wrong for the burger gang boys go to the running of the bulls in pompeii is that pompeii or pomplona uh yeah we don't have a budget for that i'm about down to zero dollars honestly i mean i did get a few donations last night but <clears throat> and i thank you very much buddy yeah, I mean, that trip that uh big cross-country drive across the country would cost me over a thousand dollars and food and I missed food. a few people. Don't Shout out you. to Lyric, Orby, Zenny, Dan, and everyone who keeps the Discord and stream active with great people. Love you, Berger. Well, thanks, Dumbleweed. <clears throat> Thought I'd let that just say it's the piece instead of talking over it. Thank you very much for the donations. Guys, we do have text to speech on if you'd like to send me a little love letter and have the robot man say it. <coughs> High blood pressure, the silent killer. There's nothing silent about my screams when I have that heart attack. Uh, let's not talk about it. What was I talking about before that? Let's stir this stuff. Our Discord's the best Discord, honestly. We've got almost 1,200 people in Discord. And everybody's awesome, man. We've got such a good crew. So cool. Get over there. Join the Discord. It's great. Yeah, it's funny, like, once one of these guys, they talk crap or something, they're little jerks, and then I put them in their place, and I ban them or something, and they come back, and then they're just, like, they just make, they're, like, always the first people to comment on my videos and send all these long messages. You can tell that they, like, secretly care so much about me, because they put so much effort into, like, the hatred. I don't know. It's, it's like, uh, here it is. It's, like... Ooh, let's see what kind of can openers we have down here. Hey, where's the can opener? Dude, get this. My mom went through the garbage and she got this old fucking can opener that doesn't even work. And probably threw away the one that does work. That's how psycho she is. This can opener doesn't even work. It's a piece of shit. So I replaced it with another can opener. My mom got it out of the garbage after I left. She got it out of that box. Where's the good can opener? What? Oh, oh the good can opener is still in here too. But that's just how psycho she is. She's psycho. My mom, if I throw things away, she literally goes through the trash and she has like such a panic attack that I might throw something away. She looks through the garbage and stuff to, like every time because she's like insane. And then she'll like hide garbage too, like cart, like the like like an instruction manual to an electric razor or something that you don't need the instructions to unless you're you know from outer space or something. And then I'll throw something like that away. I'll find it hidden somewhere, like hidden in a closet, hidden somewhere, and she will hide things and then. You know, it'll, it's just in, out of control. My mom has, like, mental problems and shit. So, if you guys wonder why I'm crazy, apple doesn't fall far from the tree. When you're from a crazy tree, it fucks your head up, too. Good thing my mom didn't do PCP or anything. What is this nasty shit all over this can opener? I even cleaned it. This was in such good condition when I left it a year and a half ago. And it just has not been maintained. 
Somebody use this suit. Somebody use this can opener. Did you find any cool stuff in the garbage today? Better, better check. I didn't throw anything away really, but of importance, but my mom's just like crazy. Just like, I have to put that in the garage. I'll show you guys the garage later. It's out of control. Alright, these are the petite diced tomatoes. Let's get those in there. Hey, and type in the comments section if your parents are hoarders. Maybe we can relate. My dad's not really a hoarder. He's just super lazy. and allows my mom to pile up the house with a bunch of worthless garbage. Because it's better to allow her to do it than and he's too lazy to fix or do anything or, or make it better too. So they just kind of, eh, I can't wait to get out of here really. Get back on the road, get back into the van in my world where it's clean. Back to my pee jug. My flashlight that loves me. Oh, mom, turn on the, she's watching the stream now, I can hear it. Are you watching the stream, mom? I can hear it. I'm trying to. <laughs> Crush and petite dice. Okay, now we're doing a reduction here. Oh, I think the crush ones work a little better for some. I like two. I don't know. These crush and these petite. I like the petite dice. Crush is good. It's already. Crush is nice because it uh, it's more like a sauce already. The petite dice is kind of watery. But, all right. Let's see how much sodium is in this. 140 milligrams. I don't know if that's a lot, but put a little bit of salt. I'm gonna put black pepper in last, that's my voice here. And some garlic powder. Onion powder. This onion powder got wet, so it's like, or something, it got some kind of moisture in it, and it all stuck together or something. A bunch of Italian seasoning. Just pop the top off and pour some in there. It's so overfilled, it couldn't even really shake it yet. Spicy in there. See, I didn't put any of the seeds in from the jalapenos, and I just put spicy seeds in there. Ooh, basil. Now, for good sauce, need some butter. And that helps take down the acidity of the tomatoes and a little bit of sugar. Turn the heat up on high so we can get it to a boil. Put a pad of butter in there. Salted, unsalted, whatever you got. Put some butter in there. <coughs> okay, got some butter. I might throw in a little milk to it when it's done, like cream it out a little bit. Let me see. Is sugar? Mom, do we have sugar? In these old yellow containers? Uh, are those old? Those containers are so old. What pantry? Oh, sugar right here. Alright, thanks. Oh, no! 
Now I spilled some sugar. Now this would be clean to go back in, but I don't know the last time this I don't know when the last time this thing was clean, so it's going to toss out about that's about one and a half tablespoons of sugar. <sighs> no. I don't want to get some bacteria in the clean sugar, so whatever. Sugar's not that expensive, so not a big deal. <clears throat> Let's put a little bit of sugar in this, too. Don't need that much. You can always make it sweeter. And if you make it too sweet and you want to bring it back out, you either put in some red wine, put in some balsamic vinegar, put in something that'll bring that, that'll bring that flavor back out. If you want to let me know if it's too sweet. It'll bring more acidity to it. All right, let's stir it up. Mmm. Starting to look like a sauce now. That's a good sauce. Mm -hmm. Sauce. A lot of meat per bite, chunky tomatoes. Is that what is that? A skin? Hold on here. There you go, my excellent. Yeah. They put a damn. There's a skin in here. That doesn't happen. That's the first time I've ever found a skin in there. Out of all the cans of tomatoes I've ever opened, I've never found a skin in one. Ash and fresh one. Yeah, whatever. I guess it's not too bad. Is anyone? Picked it up pretty easy, not a big deal. Don't think we need to take that back to the store. Okay, I'll put this on. Now we're gonna reduce. Now that we already got our veggies kind of cooked up, cooking up. Now the carrots, I said they're gonna take the longest. So they're very dense versus the density of the peppers and the onions. Taste this what the flavor is just now. Mm. Mm. Not bad. It's gonna get better. Alright. I'll leave these spices out because I might need to adjust the flavors. I got one can of crushed and one or two cans of crushed tomatoes. So when I eat about half of it, I might throw another can of crushed tomatoes in there. Then throw in some light kidney beans. Let's change it. Throw in some cumin. Just this little bit of cinnamon. Um, put in some paprika. Just maybe just a slight da dash of allspice. Just a little bit. Just a little zip. <coughs> and then I got these chili uh, chipotle peppers that are ground up. I'm gonna put that in there for my chili too. There's just diced chipotle peppers. Put those in there. And I regret it. It's like number one ingredient: chipotle pepper, diced water, tomato, vinegar, salt, dried peppers, sugar, soybean oil, smoke flavor, smoke flavor, spices. Oh, it's got added smoke flavor. Yeah, I've got this other stuff too. It's called. Liquid smoke, if you want to add a little smoky flavor, you can add a little liquid smoke. Some people say not to use this stuff, but I don't know, a pot of chili or something. It's all good. <coughs> I like to put a little bit of soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce in my chili too. I'm not putting that in my, right now it's pasta sauce, okay? So I'm not 
adding that other stuff right now. But tomorrow, or the next day when I turn this into chili, yeah, I'll add in all that other stuff. I didn't even put black pepper in that too. Somebody said if you put the black pepper in too early, it cooks and it turns like a, it turns like acrid. I don't know. People have been adding salt and pepper when they first start cooking food since like the dawn and since people figured out you can cook with pepper probably. So I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's not going to be the end of the world. If you, oh no, I put pepper in at the beginning. You don't need to throw it out the window. Your food's going to be okay. But I'm going to add the pepper in at the end. But then when I reheat it, it'll still be cooked. Cooked in it. I don't know, man. Whatever. I'm going to break the rules. Let's throw the pepper in now. I'm a, I'm a madman. I'm an insane madman. No, no, no. We'll wait. Nope. No, we waited this long. I'll just sit there to remind myself, hey, I didn't put pepper in that yet. Let's stir this. This thing is not wanting to, uh... I'm gonna wash this a little better, too, because I have my dirty, sick mouth on it. I'm sick as a dog, guys. I've been coughing since I woke up today at 5 p.m. Ooh. Sticking it up. Mm. Boy. All right. Now we just let it simmer for like two hours. Three hours, however long. You can cook it as long as you want. It doesn't matter. Let it cook. Let it cook down. Just the longer you cook it, the thicker it's going to get. And also, once you put it in the refrigerator and let it cool down, and then you reheat it, it'll, it thickens up like that too. When you put it, when you make it cold and then reheat it and stuff, that'll thicken it up too. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, the sauce as as it is right now. It's about to bubble. I'm gonna turn this down so I can tell it's about to like start bubbling. I don't want to bubble that much. This thing's making noise like the glass is about to break. I'm just going to put this on top to uh, keep the... I want to let I want to let the air, or to let the steam out, but I want to... I'm putting that on top to like, so that it won't bubble over a bunch and make a mess on the range. So kind of hopefully most of the splattering and bubbling will hit that lid and won't make a mess everywhere as much. That's at least my intentions. Let's see. If it does, whatever. You can clean it. It's not a big deal. But you can make it just something like that where you can think ahead a little bit. It might make it a little, make clean up a little easier. So what's up, guys? What'd you think? People were talking trash. It was a band. <clears throat> like that shirt. That's nice. Mm. Don't kiss me because I've been feeling well. I got a real bad cough. I'm going to go to the dig save when I can get my. Well, it was yesterday when you talked about it. So oh, it was the weekend. No. Yeah, I'm like feeling. I don't know, I woke up today and I was just creepy and coughing and like, <coughs> it's like, oh, not good. I'm coming down something. I was healthier living in the van. It's probably all the dust and <laughs> dirt and stuff in the house. Probably just the change of climate. It's probably just this disgusting environment I'm in here. But I need to probably should move back out to the van. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They want to know when we can show them the garage, though. 
Nice. <laughs> what is that look? What if they donate a bunch of money? What's the price to see the garage? Is there a certain monetary value that would be appropriate? No comment. Hella ungrateful. What a douchebag. The van has a HEPA filter. <laughs> Show us. Poor cow being cooked in an ugly way. What's wrong with that? Show us for free. You can clean the dust. You're perfectly capable. I have been cleaning a lot of things on my own. Dishes, my laundry. Certain things I'm not allowed to touch, though, because it's my mom's precious memories. They know damn right you'll run off back to Cali with that money. I don't want to run off back to Cali. You're right. <clears throat> I'm not going back to Cali. I'm going to New York, a real city where real people live that aren't like people that are so weak they can't handle winter. Hey, are you going to keep typing and spamming the whole thing? Because if you can, I can make it real easy for you, bud. I haven't been reading your comments on purpose because I don't like your stupid comments. How about that? Let me help you out. How about this? Mr. Stir the Drama Up. Here you go. There you go. How's the two minute band sound? There you go. Guys, I don't care what Brandon or anybody else says about me. Shut the fuck up about it. Go watch LA people. You can watch all of them do the same exact content and talk to the same fucking people on Hollywood Boulevard every day. No thanks. I'm evolving my show. I'm doing stuff with it. Mm. Don't ever come back. I'm not even reading this guy's comment. Dude, don't message me anymore. Quit trying to message me. I'm not letting you come back here. Get the hell out of here. Go away. Don't ever come back. I do not like you. I will never like you. You're beyond annoying. Don't come to our Discord. Don't come anywhere. We hate you, okay? This is goes for one person in particular. I'm not going to mention their name and give them the satisfaction, but they're a piece of shit, and they've got on my nerves, and they better not come back. And I will never be friends with them. And I will never, ever stop planning them over and over and over again. They're the biggest loser I've ever encountered. And beyond annoying. And a piece of shit. And they're like, oh, guys, if you want me gone, I won't come back. Well, everybody's decided we don't like you. We told you not to come back. You keep trying to come back. And then you're like, hey, guys, it's so-and-so, by the way. Obviously, you just want attention. You're a freaking loser. Leave us alone. Giving the trolls what they want. Whatever. I'm not reading these comments. Even if you want permanent band, talk some shit because I can make it real easy for you. I said I would go back to UCFX2 if Ice paid for my plane ticket, gave me $1,000, and I would only be a ring announcer. I'd be a ring announcer. I'd be the announcer for the thing and do the commentary. I'm not fighting anybody. I won UFC X1. Everyone knows fair and square I won. You will watch all the replays. Reddit said I won. Everyone said I won because I did. And then they screwed me over. They screwed me over in the talent show. Why would I? I'm not battle. I already won and battled. That was the main event in the first one. Why would I come back to this stupid thing again? Can they come up with anything new besides the same shit they've already done? It's like they already did this two months ago. They're already out. Of, they're already out of ideas so much that they're fucking having to like redo shit they did three months ago it's like fucking sad you got a whole team of people with you and you can't you surround yourself by a bunch of fucking yes men idiots they can't even come up with some fucking just basic ideas to do streams about or events or anything it's just beyond oh uh, god i can't even it's like i can 
Ugh, never mind. It's just so stupid. We just did this three months ago. What are we gonna have UFC X three in the next two months? Like, God, why don't we do something else? Something creative? Something besides people trying to fight? Is that the best freaking content ideas they can come up with? Ugh, like, come on, get it together, guys. You got so much money, so many things. Still surrounded by a bunch of yes men, and that's the best they can do. Well, that's what happens when you surround yourself with idiots. Besides Kyle, I like him. Kyle's the only good one. Paul and Kyle, they're the only good ones out of the whole bunch. The rest of them can fuck off. And I'm sure everyone can't wait to forget them when this whole streaming thing is, uh, this whole streaming experiment ends after net neutrality ends. At least he can throw events. I mean, around 20,000 people and 20 people show up, sure. Dude, I don't want to hear your drama. I don't care what any of these people are saying about me. They all do the same shit. How many times can you watch someone walk up and down Hollywood Boulevard? That's why I left. The shit's fucking played out. How many times can you watch someone scuffed Venice Beach, bad quality scuffed re reception broadcast? And it's like the same shit every fucking day. Oh, maybe you go downtown. Maybe you go to the Hollywood Boulevard again. Maybe you do It's like the same fucking, it's like Groundhog's Day. Hell no. There's no way I would watch that. There's no way they want to fucking do that, too. It's just fucking... No. <coughs> Shit's played out. Wait till we get to New York. We'll see who the real content king is. You seem like a nice guy. Don't let the 12-year-olds get you down. Thank you. Don't let the trolls ruin your vibe. Thanks, man. 275 people watching the sauce. True, Bergs. They need to live with their moms and make scuffed sauce. Hey, man. At least I know how to cook. I like Paul. Like, man, you tried to make those ganja brownies and you did it all wrong. You're supposed to make ganja butter and then cook stuff with the butter. That's how you do it. He did every. He didn't decarb it. He doesn't know. I don't, know. I don't think he like watched a video or read directions on how to do it at all. I know. At least I know how to do stuff, guys. I can paint, I can play drums, I can play keyboard, I can sing, I can complain about shit, I can alienate, alienate myself from friends and friend, family very well, it's, I'm very skilled at that, I ruined my life with the streaming bullshit, I've done that pretty well, lost so many friends over the streaming shit, well I made some friends like Bone Clinks and Richie I met kind of off stream, didn't really have that was just randomly ran into him, but I was happy to be streaming at the time. But, you know, all my dates and stuff, you guys have ran off and everything. Made Yuki, you guys harassed Yuki so much. The scumbags that watched the stream harassed Yuki so much, she deleted her YouTube account or Twitter account, and she won't talk to me anymore. Bunch of idiots. Hmm. Darn, she's pretty good. Circuit strip to caramelize a little bit. Needs more heat though. <laughs> I'd rather see a fucking like homemade puppet show where they all make puppets and do ventriloquist show. I don't know, the talent show is pretty fun. Something that has to do with creativity and I'm not trying to, you know. Didn't you guys learn anything from my speech at the first UFCX? You know, all the fighting and everything, it needs to stop and it's bullshit. What part of that was, oh, I'll see you at UFCX too. None of that, guys. None of that. I meant what I said on that speech. It is all bullshit. I didn't want to do the first one. And it was freaking lame. I made 250 bucks. And you know, could have gotten, my, could have fallen and hit my head on a concrete block, or <clears throat> you know, something like that. It's very dangerous. T 
gonna take hours for that sauce to cook. Well, no shit. That's why I already ate dinner. I ate three slices of pizza for that I had left over from last night. That's what I ate for dinner. I'm just that way. I'm not hungry at all. By the time that's done, then I've got noodles that I'll cook whenever the sauce is done. You get mini penne, mini penne, mini penne, mini penne. This fucking can. Oh, this is old ass fucking pizza sauce. Dude, this pizza sauce is probably so old. It's probably from like 2000. Oh my god. Let's see. Does it even have a date on it? Oh no. It's an old fucking pizza sauce. Also, when you make some good sauce like that, you can put that on some pizza. Ooh, so good. You like it when I yell at them? Hell yeah. Somebody had to set those bozos straight. All right. Jar up, jar up my sauce and take it to the food bank. Hell no, dude. I ain't giving that away to any food people. I don't think we have like, I don't know. There's not like, you don't really see homeless people and stuff around our town. It's a small town. There's not people just sitting out begging and stuff. It's not like LA where they just dump people off in Skid Row. People get welfare, they get HUD or whatever, they get a house, the government pays for it, and they're inside. Play that organ. I could. Is there bologna in the sauce? No. I need more sleep. I have bags. No, nah, I just woke up. No, I'm not making up with bone clinks. That guy's a... No, guys, don't even bring up any other streamers. I don't want to talk about them. If I cared about them, I would message them. I would, whatever. This is like, I don't want to talk about any of those people or I don't care what they're doing. You know, I don't want to hear about if they got hit by a car recently or shot or whatever. I don't care. So whatever happens to them, I just don't give a shit. Like, don't tell me about it. I don't really care. If I did, I would watch their videos. <laughs> So, I don't care. Hey, is that Royce Royce? That's a fake Royce Royce, probably. Let me see. Is he real? Hey, Royce, I thought you lived in, like, St. Louis. Or something. Oh, wait, it is the real Royce Royce. What up, dude? Oh, I noticed how you renamed your new vid your video about me and Patricia Burger Planet Lures Disabled Sex Worker. That's not what it used to be named, Royce. What's up with that? That's one of those flip-flop people. He used to be a friend. But he chose Brandon over me and all those other fools. So his loyalty has been tainted. <laughs> He made some damn good videos. It's a shame. I like Royce's videos. He edited that that workout video we did too with uh whatever that guy's name was, like Candelabra or whatever his fucking name was. <coughs> I'm Candelabra. I'm boxing. All right. Well, that's pretty much all for this um, cooking stream. I had a great time. Roy said I banned him a few months ago. I banned him because I said, don't mention any other streamers in my chat. Don't talk about Brandon. Don't talk about Asian Andy because I'm tired of hearing about those people. And then he's like, I love Brandon. And I was like, okay, well, I banned him because I told everyone not to mention those people. And then he did it right afterwards. 
I had to I had to set an example because if I let him do it, then everybody else in the chat is like, oh, how come he can say it? I can't play favorites. So I banned him, and then I unbanned him within like 30 minutes, and then he got all mad about it. Hey, girls, I do want to come to the, the city museum sometime or go to Chicago. Maybe we can meet up. Hit me up on Discord. I don't think you're banned from our Discord. You just left it. But man, if you want to meet up, dude, you're cool. All right, guys. Don't fall in love. <laughs> yes, don't fall in love with the enemy. Don't go yet. We're going to start a new stream on the computer. All right. We're starting a new stream. Carl will be there. No shit, man. We tried to find Carl. I don't know where Carl is. If anybody sees Carl in the Los Angeles area, just let him know that he is loved and that we're concerned about him and we hope he's doing okay. And Give him $5 from me. I'll pay you back. Just don't ask me for the money. <laughs> I'll pay you back. Just don't ask for the money. <laughs> I'm in the Midwest. I made $50 sleeping last night, too. I woke up. Somehow I made $50 sleeping. People were giving me donations for my replays. Guess people liked the replays last night. Cool. Tonight's replays, I'm going to do replays again tonight. Tonight's replays are going to be episodes of the Josh McCutcheon Show. So that's some of my edited content. And they're all edited by myself. And you guys can see why I'm the best and most talented and I work the hardest IRL streamer in the biz. It's time for the banning. The banning. The banning. Oh, God. Cubes. <coughs> I wanted to meet up with Royce when I drove through St. Louis. I was going to go to the City Museum when I drove through it, but. The city museum was closed on Monday and Tuesday, and I wasn't going to wait two, wait around St. Louis for two days to go to the city museum, because so I've already been there. The city museum is dope, so I was like, well, it's like five hours. Maybe I'll do a trip to Chicago, stay there for a week, then do a trip to St. Louis, and then drive back to Indiana, do a little road trip. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Hey, if I drive to Chicago, who can I stay with? Can I party with you guys? Just know that I, when I drink, it's not good. And, and when I drink, the things I say, things I do, that's not me. That's not me, guys. That's not me. That's not who I am. <laughs> that's the monster that is my alcoholism. Yeah, if you guys want me to read your comments, maybe say something nice or say something relevant to what we're talking about. Don't be a jerk. Pretty easy, God. Pretty easy, God. Cool. It's pretty easy to not be a dick. You're like, oh yeah, well why don't you do it? <laughs> I knew someone was going to say that. <laughs> Anything I say, you're going to judge me. You're going to put me to a test. I know. I have to be even better than you guys because I'm being scrutinized from every angle when I do these live streams. I'm being scrutinized and scrupulated upon. Light butter. What is this, butter with... Margarine or what? 
fifty percent less fat, forty-seven less calories than butter. Not recommended for baking or frying. Keep refrigerated. Man, this is some bullshit, dude. Butter cream, buttermilk, tapioca. I don't know what is what is that shit. My mom, she got really mad when I threw these old sauce packets away. That's how much she hoards stuff. Like old, she had some tartar sauce from in here. She's like, that was still good. I was like, well, that's from 10 years ago. That restaurant, that's from Captain D's. Captain D's has been out of business in most cities for like 10 years or more, 15 years. She still had a tartar sauce pack from Captain D's in the fridge. Like not even one, but like five. I threw away a bunch of sauces. <coughs> My mom like almost had like a nervous breakdown about it. Like look at all this stuff over here. Like, see, I would clean this up if I could. I would throw some of this stuff away, organize things. But there's nowhere to put these Tupperware things and whatnot because they're all the kitchen cabinets are filled with stupid shit too. Like, uh, I don't know, like this. Okay, like a marinara cup. Who the fuck reuses and cleans marinara cups? There's like, and then you already got like 10 types of Tupperware ones like it and everything else. It's psycho, man. Let's get rid of it. Like, what are you, you're cleaning garbage and saving it now. It's like, uh, I don't want to get into it. I want to get a dumpster. My mom won't let you throw anything away. She's like, I'm going to throw something. I just have to get out of here. She's never going to get anything away. Ungrateful. It's her. Dude, look at you, Xanax Dreams. Why don't you go take some Xanax and. Forget that you ever heard of Burger Planet. You're one of those stupid kids that think taking Alprazolam and Xanax is cool. Hey, man, neat. Why don't you get some tattoos on your face, too, man? You can be a fucking loser, prison-bound like the rest of those fucking loser rapper guys that say the same shit over and over. And they just get fucked up, and they're dumb as a box of rocks, can't spell, have a very limited vocabulary, have a very limited skew and perspective on the life and world. You're right. Idiots. They're not creative artists. They're little they're little punk ass bitches who get somebody to make a little beat and then they say, Oh come now, oh getting down frisky on oh, drinking, sipping lean and I'm hanging out homie. Getting down uh oh, oh, I got my gold front in uh oh. Fuck that shit. Little fucking shitheads is what they are. Wait until I bring out my new tracks. They're going to be way better. <laughs> Xanax guy, Xanax Dream said, dude, that's hot fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot fire. Little fat ginger. <laughs> yeah, I can be. I'll be a little one too. A little fat boy. <laughs> a little fat ginger. Oh, God. Mumble rap, yeah. Well, you don't need to hear the lyrics anyway because they're, they're not really saying much. And it's mostly the same shit over and over again. Oh, slinging fucking rocks on the corner, selling crack. Oh, cool, man. Neat. <laughs> what a neat guy. <laughs> what Gilbert said, that music ain't stopping nobody from robbing or killing. <laughs> Lil Van. <laughs> Somebody called me Lil Vanner. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Vandy. <laughs> they call me Lil Vandy. Uh, I ain't gonna be a little nothing. I'm a big motherfucker, okay? I take t I take shits bigger than most of these little those little punk asses. The fuck out of here. What are they gonna What are they gonna do with their lives after? Let's see. After their fucking wave of their 15 minutes of fame are over, when they become Vanilla Ice, when they become MC Hammer, when they become fucking Ice T, and they're on like. Fucking CSI. My mom watches that. <laughs> like, uh, it's like whatever. 
cash in on the millions. Yeah, I'm sure they blow it as quick as they make it on Fendi belts and five hundred dollar Gucci sneakers that fall apart in a month. About the same, same shit's made in China. They just put a Gucci fucking thing on it. Same shit they sell at Walmart, pretty much. Oh, okay, it's gold thread. Oh, neat, cool, bud. Little Vandy. <laughs> Someone said they become Andy Milanakis. <laughs> he was never a big rapper. Andy Milanakis is a millionaire. Why do you hate so much? Spread positivity. Eh, it's cool. I just also like shutting down idiots. Maybe some people are out there who are like, you know what? Maybe these guys aren't the fucking best role models for kids and people and future generations. They don't really have a good perspective in the world. Yeah. And then people act like, oh my gosh, some rapper drug, druggy dude OD'd. Oh my gosh. Everybody looks so sad. Like, don't you know that like mixing uppers and downers and all that shit is a fucking cocktail for death like go take a bunch of fucking drinking lean which is a downer you know drinking lean with opiates and then drinking it with and then mixing with downers xanax yeah dude that shit can stop your heart boom done don't mix. don't mix maybe some of these guys need to come out and say hey guys maybe it's not the best idea to be drinking lean all the time maybe it's not the best idea to be you know, doing Xanax. I used to do bar, six bar Xanax all the time, but yeah, I take some bins, some freaking benzos and some opiates and yeah, stop your heart. Cool. I love pills. Give me pills. Royce, you don't love pills. You're a good boy. He died because he's a druggie. Yeah, I've done tons of drugs. I'm still alive. I don't know. Maybe just don't be a fucking idiot. You know, I've done plenty of music, plenty of other things. I'm an artist. I choose to put my art on canvases. I have a little more respect on my, about my body and things like that than to just tattoo shit all over myself. My body's not a damn sketchbook. Rappers are for entertainment, not for role models, dummy. Hey, don't call me the dummy. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of younger kids and stuff that watch these idiots because they're like, you know, these rappers are like 18 to 20 or something. And there's a lot of little kids that watch them and think it's really cool. And they want to be just like these guys. Right? It's fucking bullshit. Snoop Dogg didn't have a bunch of tattoos on his face. He's cool as fuck. Dr. Dre don't have a bunch of tattoos all over his face and look like a fucking piece of shit. I don't know. But, you know, people I watch in my, you know, RZA, the Jizza, all those motherfuckers are hard as fuck. They don't have a bunch of tattoos on their face. You know, fucking, no, well, Action Bronson does because he's in that new, new Jack rap shit. I like fucking Run the Jewels. That's my shit. If you're famous, kids will look up to you regardless of your, yeah, I know, but people should at least, people should at least like realize, hey, there are a lot of people watching them. There are a lot of people that are looking up to them, you know, and they could use that. They could use that platform to spread positivity to like, you know, instead they're just like, you know, just using the platform to just make themselves more money They're They could make the world a better place. You know, they could inspire future generations of creativity and things, you know, and they have millions of people listening to their songs, but instead, you know, you guys have heard the songs. It's just sad. You know, it's because he's, my body is a sketchbook. <laughs> my body is a sketchbook. Oh, the new album. Yes, positivity like you. <laughs> you just hated on them, so now you're a hater. Easy e was shot dead, confirmed on Twitter. That sucks, dude. You too. Kids can live in your van. No one's living in my van. You saw a recent video of me stealing pizza. That wasn't a recent video. That wasn't stolen pizza. That was pizza that's on the sidewalk, on the ground, on a, in a box, opened up. There's just a fucking piece of pizza out and about with a guy sleeping adjacent to it. it wasn't even his pizza. 
whatever. That's like the only thing people can say about me. Oh, you flirted with Patricia. Oh, you had a slice of pizza from a box of pizza on the ground that cockroaches were walking over. Ooh, whatever. Who cares? <clears throat> That's fucked up. Guess whose pizza that was? That was Wolfie's pizza, and I made it right, and I went and took him out for breakfast for eating his pizza. Okay? That was Wolfie's pizza. And I went out, and I brought him, spent like $20 on him, and bought him a bunch of food and stuff at a Mexican restaurant. So, whatever, dude. When's the last time you bought a homeless person a meal, you little fucking shitheads? Exactly. Never. Fuck off. Whoa, he bought a guy a pizza. We're all losers. Time to pack up and go home, guys. Dislike squad. Dislike squad. Roll. Dislike squad. Roll out. <laughs> all right, Dev. You've had your chance, and guess what? I'm done with you. Get out of here. I'm not homeless, Peter. I'm home free, bitch. I was never homeless. Homeless is a state of mind. And you're banned from my stream now. Fuck off. How about that? Wait, this isn't the real dev. The real dev has some really cool art. No, this guy only has 199 subscribers. He's just some fucker that with zero content that tries to like leech and act like he's this dev artist from Instagram. He ain't shit. I knew it. I knew he's some punk ass bitch. I knew it. He can just make a new account, and I can ban that one just the same. And then he's just wasting his fucking life creating accounts, and I just ban them just as quick. So we'll see who wins, because I can ban people way quicker than they can create accounts. It takes one second. All right, guys, I'm about to end the stream. Let's go. <coughs> Let's go stir. <coughs> Ooh, let's go stir this pasta sauce. Oh, nice. We're getting a little bubbling. Not bad. That's good. That's what we want. We just want like a, a slow rolling bubble. Let's see what happens. All that weight of the ingredients, it all weighs down on the bottom and it'll start scorching on the bottom. So about every 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you come in. Yeah, see it's starting to stick to the bottom. That's why I like the flat bottom. I go in here. Stir it from the bottom. Oh, yeah, it's starting to thicken up already. The more you stir it, too, you see all that steam coming off? That's thickening it up. All that steam opening it up, getting that steam coming out. That's just microscopic water droplets leaving, and it's reducing. And, whew, it's going to be so good. Man, I wish, honestly, the people that are really cool, I probably would share some of this with you guys. I could share this with like 10 people. One year I made this big pot of chili for my for my 30th birthday. That was only me. I thought a bunch of people were coming over. I put a Facebook invite, but I'd made it kind of like a day or so before I was going to do it. <laughs> only two people showed up. So I don't really have that many friends either. I've always kind of been a... I don't know. I don't know if people agree with what I have to say or whatever, but I will make my... I make my... Uh, I make my, uh, I let people know at least how I feel. I don't say, think you have to agree or whatever, but. I'm a lone boner. <laughs> I'm a lone boner. It's garbage. What's garbage? Not that freaking pasta sauce. It's going to be so good, dude. I agree. You have no friends. <laughs> Fuck you. You guys are my friends, right? Guys, type whether you're a super friend or super 
troll douchebag enemy. And you have to say it in exactly those words so that you can admit admitting what your problem is is the first part of rehabilitation and becoming a better citizen. Okay. Is that blood on the wall? I don't know. Some red little dot could be spaghetti sauce. What's going on there? You laugh at my patheticness? Well, I don't laugh at you at all. Because you're irrelevant. And you do nothing for me. Right, guys? Fuck the haters, right, dudes? I don't like this. My mom's had this pillowcase. It looks like one of those cokehead mirrors from, like, the 80s. I think it is from the 80s. My mom's still got pillowcases and shit like that. Like She never gets rid of anything, like I said, so. Nah. So, yeah. 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 Okay. We're about to do a stream on the computer. It's going to be very fun. All right, everybody. I love you guys. Well... 90% of you, 10% of you I don't love, and I hope you don't come back because you're assholes. Maybe 5% are assholes. 5% are trolls. 95% of the people here are awesome. So 95% of you, I need you to come back to the next broadcast. 5% of you, I need you to fuck off and never come back, please. We don't need you here. We don't want you here. I don't know how. It's like if you've got a hate kind of mentality, we don't want you here. We don't need you here. You're not helping anything. We don't want your comments. We don't want your views. You know, it's funny. The people that say they hate me the most, they're the first people in here on the stream. Fuck burger, TTD, fat fuck, all this shit. Every single stream, they're the first people in here. Biggest fucking losers. So they watch something they hate. It's like, how fucking pathetic is your life that you hate something so much, yet you still watch it? It's like, what a fucking loser. Right, guys? 62 dislikes, 10%. Okay. <laughs> look, don't look at the statistics. Some of the people like me dislike as a joke at this point. It's a meme. No one likes you. Tell us something we don't know. Tell me something good. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Tell me that you like it. Tell me something good, oh baby, come and tell me, tell me that you love me, yeah. baby, come on. Who wants to give me smooches before I go? Who wants to give me smooches? 21 in order, where's my smooches? All right, I know who this person is. I'm just gonna I let them talk shit for a little bit. I'm gonna make sure that they uh, get banned. Smash that like button, guys. Let's see if we can get more likes than dislikes this time. Can I have some of that spaghetti? Show us your mom's garage. Dude, you guys are going to have to pay out the ass to see the garage. If someone donates $100, I'll show you guys the garage. I need to at least make $100 on it so they can, like, because my mom will probably cry if I show the garage. It's so bad, guys. I need to at least make $100 if I'm, <laughs> if I'm going to upset my mom that much. <coughs> Dislike squad, roll out. It's spaghetti. All right, let's go. The garage is pretty bad, guys. My mom's bedroom is pretty bad, too. Real bad. You can't even walk in it, though? Dude, it's too crazy. It's full of collectibles. Yeah, Anthony's seen it before. There's a couple vlogs on my old... There's a couple vlogs on my old channel. I'm not going to tell you which ones they are. You'll just have to watch all of them. There's a couple videos in my old on my old channel, the Burger Planet Archives, where you can see the garage. 
There's only, I think there's might be one, but, uh, I'm from Dubai. Do you accept Durham's? Um, I mean, we transfer it to money. <coughs> I mean, man, money. We transfer it to, yeah, I can accept whatever form of money it is, I guess. We just have to, like, it transfers to uh, American currency. All right, guys. So you want 100 bucks just to open a door? Am I missing something? Your brother going to beat you up again, chill. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can donate money in the U.S. dollars. There you go. Uh, your best of Burger Dizzy has been striked by Disney. That's eh, fine, whatever. You know how raccoons dip their food in water before they eat it? Does Burger dip his food in garbage before he eats it? <laughs> First of all, I would never eat with Haley. I don't like her, and she was a bitch to me when I met her, and she's absolutely irrelevant. I mean, uh, between Geisha and Bone Clinks and Haley, when they were all hanging out together, I still had more viewers than all of them. So, I guess being hot and having a set of tits doesn't, doesn't win everything, does it, guys? Or, I don't know, I guess Bone Clinks doesn't really have much he adds to anything, but leeching off of everyone. That's pretty much all he does. And then, like, racks to German shit no one cares about. All right. Anyway, is there not one loser here with a measly hundred bucks? You have nicer tits. That's why we watch you. Hey, thank you, Jesco. I like this guy. He looks like a hipster guy. He could be my friend. He's got glasses, a little beard, a little mustache, nice haircut like mine. Jesco might be cool, man. We could hang out. You live around Midwest? Shots fired. Draw eyebrows on your face. Maybe I will. What do I think about Ice Poseidon? I miss Paul. Paul's really the only live streamer in um, LA that didn't really completely um, turn his back on me. He, Paul, oh, he gave me a shot. And I mean, if it wasn't for his like, you know, a bunch of, uh, you know, henchmen and stuff around telling him not to hang out with me, I think we would have been friends. But I think they felt threatened because I, I bring the talent. I bring charisma you know i've edited so many of my own videos started my own show with josh mccutcheon show a lot of people thought that was an mtv show that's something i made the mtv clips or something else hey how about when we come back we can watch some of the mtv videos i have he never did let me on the minibus yeah that was fucking crazy that was bullshit paul what was up with that that was for content he said he said it was for content <laughs> I got to say, you got balls for getting rejected so many times, but you never stop going up to girls' props. That's what you got to do, man. It only takes one time for them to say yes, and your dick is in the pussy, bro. I bring the stubborn belly fat that just won't go away. Who's your least favorite live streamer? Uh, my least favorite live streamer would be uh, probably Mexican Andy. He doesn't really bring much to the table. He has got about zero personality. Yeah, probably that guy. But, um, and then, you know, as far as like personality wise, and then people that have too much personality out of their hand, um, you know, I don't want to get into who I like and who I don't like, but, you know, let's just say that most of the live streamers, I think, I don't think I'm doing the best, but I think a lot of them, they just don't put much effort into it. And, Was the Burton Ernie haircut video scripted? Nothing I do is scripted. If anything, it's improv. His streams are getting better. Mm. Whatever, dude. <clears throat> you followed Ice to Home Depot. Yeah, I do. That was I do remember when I followed Ice to Home Depot. That's the same video where um, I told the girl to fuck off with her fake ass glasses, bitch. That was the same video. And it's on my YouTube if you guys want to check it out. The whole thought is on there. It's called. I think Skid Row Fort with Ice Poseidon. Go on there and give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and some comments. What's improv? Like acting? Yes. I should have watched Asian Mexican Andy's date. That was content. Pff, I'm sure that was an awkward fucking uh, awkward fucking time. Thought I don't want to talk about other streamers. Oh, you guys tricked me, you dicks. I don't. 
<coughs> it's too late to play the organ. We'll play the organ tomorrow. Can imagine you on TV. Thanks, man. You need to stop hitting on hot chicks and start hitting on fatties. You'll be drowning in pussy. <laughs> dude, I don't want to fuck fat chicks, even with your dick. Get the hell out of here. It's not fun, dude. I know a lot of you virgins have never had fat pussy, skinny pussy, any pussy. But, um, yeah, man, not really my thing. Somebody that's not athletic. Sex takes a lot of athleticism, and it takes a lot of work, too. And... If people don't have a good body shape, just some, I don't want to fuck some fat blob just laying on the fucking bed while I pound their fucking hot dog highway fucking pussy. And if they don't like have good muscle control, their pussy is going to be real loose. They probably fuck a lot of fucking nasty dudes from clubs with big dicks and shit. Cause we all know that fat chicks kind of have a specific type of man that dates them and, uh, they'll be all reamed out and, uh, they give good head though. Cause God damn, their body would be fucking all messed up. But, uh, yeah, not really my thing. And if you have no muscles in your body, what makes you think that they do kegels or can, like, clench or tighten up their pussy? They've got no fucking muscle control a lot of times. It goes both ways. But I fucking, dude, I fuck girls so hard they can't, they can't even fucking take it, dude. They tap out after, like, an hour, bro. So I said reamed out, not deemed out. Yeah, ring. There you go. Usually, girls tap out before I do with sex. Man, I'm at least an hour into. It. I do kegels. Like I can control my orgasms. I can, you know, you know, it's called edging. You get to the edge and then you, you stop. You know, you get to the edge where it's like tickling, then you stop. You know, and that is if you want to keep it going. If you don't, then just yeah, fucking get your ten minute quickie in, fifteen minute quickie in. It usually takes me about 15 minutes to like almost come at least that long. That's like concentration the whole time. Then the chick's like, oh my God, why is it taking so long? And it's like, all right, bitch, now I just have to start over to zero because you've been complaining and shit. Fucked up my head now. Hmm. You fucked a girl? Just your mom in the ass. go outside whatever green ranger you're lucky to be in here you want band again because you know i'll do it mm -hmm. oh, some there's band some guy with a racist name you guys will see who it was where's cunt destroyer i don't know that guy's not banned anymore i haven't seen him come back I have fucked all of your moms. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And I cream pied all of them. I am your father. The banning begins. Air gets in that pussy. And it sounds funny. <laughs> Why would someone care about getting banned in here? Not like the chat is something to give a shit about here, mate. Hey, our chat's a lot more fun than most people's. All the other chats, people spam the same shit over and over again. There's nothing to fucking read. Every, we got the, I think we have the best chat on IRL, honestly. Is Cabernet Bolognese good for whacking it, too? <laughs> Was that one of my mods? <laughs> Do you put a cup of milk in your sauce? Uh, you can put a cup of milk. I just wait. If you're going to put milk in the sauce, wait until the very end. Because you won't put milk in there and heat it up. It'll scorch it. <clears throat> you don't want to scorch the milk and have it curdle and shit in the fucking sauce. Fuck that. I'm your favorite streamer. Nice, man. All right, guys. I'm going to end the stream because the quicker I end in this stream, the quicker I can start the next stream. Give me about five or ten minutes. I need to go pee. And I need to go outside and check on something. Go, go hit a vape a couple times. I started vaping again, but zero milligrams nicotine. But I've been vaping a little bit. Just a little bit. Just had a lot of stress lately. What is this
Did I see his vape or dislit? No, it was just in Cali. That's not available out here, unfortunately. I ran out of those on my car drive here. Yeah. Which I never, I would never vape and drive, by the way. Only while I'm parked and not leaving. God, this is the same freaking... Obviously, this isn't the real fucking... I know exactly who that person is because he uses this... He spams the same shit over and over. It's that guy banned. And he keeps coming up with Christina things and he thinks we wouldn't know it's him. I know who it is. That's Chetch. He's fucking banned again. I hate that piece of shit. Chetch, go away. We don't want you here. No one wants you here. Quit trying to make fun of Christina to try to get people some cheap laughs. And you, we, you said, hey, if you don't want to see me here, I'll never come back. You said that about four times. And guess what? Every time, all everyone in the chat said, fuck off. We don't want you here. And then what? You try to come back. Get a, your own fucking life. Don't come back to my community. Don't come to my Discord because I'm going to ban you every single fucking time. Mm -hmm. All right, loser. All right. See you guys later. I'll be back here in a little bit. I love you guys. Sorry I had to call that fucking idiot out. This broadcast has been brought to you by Jar. Jar, the greatest receptacle to hold your liquid beverages in Jar. Another fine product from the friendly folks of Global Corp. Love that Jar. See you later, guys. Be back in five minutes, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.